Hey guys, it's Olvids, and today we're going to be talking about My Hero 1's Justice and its upcoming sequel. So My Hero 1's Justice was the first console My Hero Academia game to ever be released. And My Hero Academia is a manga series about a guy named Deku going to a superhero school while also trying to carry on the legacy of the number one hero. But anyway, back to the game. This game was a team-based arena fighting game, which is pretty common among most anime games. You would use one character and have two teammates for assists. This game's content doesn't really stand out too much. It has a story mode, arcade mode, online mode, and a mission mode. The story mode was alright. It was presented like a comic book. There were also some cutscenes every once in a while. And while some of them were cool, some others weren't. The actual fights weren't challenging, and I was able to get an S rank pretty easily. It also never strayed away from the main anime, so it only went up to all for one, which you need to beat in the story mode to unlock, and arcade mode is arcade mode, however it does have some unique interactions for every fight. Mission mode was kinda like a survival mode, however you have a party of three and you also collect items and have to fight with special conditions. This mode is actually pretty interesting, however I wish that you were a little, you know, punished a little more for losing, cause you know. It would barely drop down your rank if you lost a fight. You know, it, it, it was a minor inconvenience. And most of my 40 hours went into the online mode. And I'm pretty sure that everyone that played this game had the most fun in this mode because you could have some pretty good matches in there. They also had a ranking system as well as a like system, which was a really cool feature. The only problems I had with the online is that they pair you up with just about anyone and that there wasn't any kind of penalty when it came to rage quitting before receiving your points. The last notable feature of this game is of course customization. This was honestly a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be and there are lots of options to choose from for all of your characters. The actual combat was fine. You basically had your attack button, quirk 1, 2, and 3, as well as super armor attacks and unblockable attacks. There's also lots of dashing wall spots. I usually compare this game to the city in terms of the flow and movement. It was on the simpler side, but it was fun depending on which character you used. I found the most enjoyment in Ida and Toga. So recently, My Hero Once Justice 2 was announced and it looks like it's going into the season 4 of the anime, mainly promoting overhaul. I'm hoping that this game really changes up a lot in order to justify it being a whole new game and not just some extra DLC for the first game. It can't just be one justice but with extra characters because they could have easily just made DLC to go along with Shoe Style Deku, Endeavor, and Nasa. Hopefully, the presentation of the story is a lot better and more creative, as well as more challenging scenarios. They could also add some new mechanics here and there, as well as new modes, better music, and more characters. It would also be cool if they added an English dub as well as manga characters to the game. Some cameo characters from the My Hero Vigilantes would also be even cooler. All that's left is to wait for the trailer and to see if it's worthy of being called a sequel. Okay, that's all uh, for this video and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, see you next time.